Welcome to HailState.com. This is the continuation of Stadium Week. I'm Bob Carscad, and this is Brent Fry, Assistant Athletic Director for Event Management. And uh, the, the appropriate title there that's, that encompasses a lot of things. <laughs> it, it, it's close enough. <laughs> well, hopefully, we, we, it's not too bad. But uh, obviously, what we want to talk about it is Stadium Week and uh, a lot of the changes happening at the Stadium, Davis Wade Stadium, with the expansion and renovation. Um, some things are going to be different this year, not all things, and so plenty of it's going to stay the same and yeah. be what we've always enjoyed. But I wanted to talk to you, if you could, uh, just run us through what some of the changes will be, what to expect, and, and what we should be looking for this year. Uh, the main change due to construction is going to be uh, the gate situation mm -hmm. at the stadium. Uh, unfortunately, we anticipate uh, long lines. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try to alleviate a little bit of that. We're going to uh, open the gates sooner, uh, three hours ahead of game time this year. Uh, we're going to try to make gates where there were not gates before, mm -hmm. uh, especially on the east side. This year on the east side, uh, we lost our north entrance gate totally. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have it. Uh, all we're going to have is a south entrance gate, and then we're making another gate uh, coming in from the back side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, of the east side. Unfortunately, that's only going to give us about four checkpoints there, mm -hmm. uh, down from 15 that we had before oh, wow. on the north end. That's so, pretty significant. So we're going to struggle on the east side a little bit, but uh, we're asking fans to be patient mm -hmm. and uh, help us out with that three hour mark this year. And I know that the main idea get there early you know, obviously you may not want to spend the entire day in the stadium, that's but, right. but get there early and, and be prepared. There will be lines, but yeah. if you can get there ahead of time, it won't be such a bad thing. It won't be bad, and, and it's worth it. It's uh, We're going through growing pains. They're doing a lot of great things at the stadium, and I know the fans are going to be excited about seeing that. Uh, and, and this is what happens when you have that. Uh, once everyone is in the stadium, I know, you were telling me there will be a small pathway connecting uh, around the north end zone, but for the most part, you're kind of want to, you're going to want to avoid trying to cross over any, go in on your side of the stadium if you can help it. Correct. Uh, on the on the north end of the stadium, we used to have a, a big sidewalk where folks could go flow from east to west with no problem. Uh, this year, due to construction, we're not going to have that. Uh, instead, we're going to have a basically a small sidewalk in front of the uh, new construction area mm -hmm. between the fence and the grandstand there. And it's, it'll be tight. So the best thing for fans to do would be to come in on the side of the stadium you're going to be using and where your seats are at and uh, try not to go back and forth unless you just have to. Sounds good. Now, um, obviously one of the people who get there early is students. And they've got a, a little bit different. It's the same areas, but now obviously they've got new seats as part of the, that lower bowl that is finished. What's the process like for them? What do you recommend for students coming into the game? Well, the, with the students this year, uh, without having that north entrance for them, we're going we're gonna to have to bring them in mostly all through the south end on the east side. Mm -hmm. We're going to have bleacher seating, grandstand seating like we always had. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with that is we've lost our entrance for the bleacher seating in the end zone. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to have to bring them in from the east side, south end, direct the ones that want to sit in the end zone in front of the East Grandstand, bring them all the way down in front of the East Grandstand, and then give them access to the end zone. Right. Uh, so, a little bit different. A little, a little bit yeah. different. Uh, we've talked with the student, the student association and uh, their president, uh, Michael Hogan, mm -hmm. and uh, he's getting the word out to the students and he's going to help us with that. Yeah. yeah, obviously interesting with students being first come, first serve rather than yes. serve tickets. So. Those are people who they're getting in the stadium early anyway, so that... Uh, True, and the students have been great about that the last couple of years. They've done a great job doing that, helping us at the gates, getting there early. So that works out pretty well. Now, uh, on the flip side, that's uh, a lot of things happening because construction is ongoing. On the west side, the renovation portion of it um, look like it's going to be finished up by, uh, by game one. What kind of changes and, and new things are we looking at over there? Well, the fans are going to be excited on the west side. Mm -hmm. uh, I walked through it just the other day, and it's it's totally different. It mm -hmm. is nice, uh, wide open, easy to walk through. Going to be great. Mm -hmm. 
the problem over there is we lost all our north entrance gates also. <laughs> so it's going to be crowded on that it's side. It's going to be crowded on that side also. Uh, we do have a couple of more gates that we can, it's going to help a little bit, but we're going to still have issues coming from the north. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to be very nice up there. So it looks real good. Okay. Um, all right, outside of that, you know, before the game, after the game, I get the impression not going to be too many changes, obviously. Uh, parking and some of the traffic flow stuff will be affected, but tailgating and other just general campus activities leading up to and following, any changes or differences to, to speak of? None to speak of. Uh, all tailgating policies are basically the same. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very few changes, minor changes that I don't think anybody even noticed. Uh, of course, like you said, the parking and the traffic around campus will be a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Things are going to flow a little differently. And matter of fact, we just got through with a meeting just then with the highway patrol and local police, city, and all that. And there's there's going to be some changes, mm -hmm. uh, challenges getting people on and off because of the construction. But once that. you're yeah. once you're in and parked, should be uh, all set to go. We just get to the stadium early. It's uh, is it, the message, and be patient. I think. Be, yes. be timely and patient. Very patient. <laughs> well, we can do that. Again, uh, I appreciate you hanging out with us. And thank you for hanging out with us here on Stadium Week on HailState.com.